Hi, your signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what are your person's thoughts of you, what are their thoughts of the connection and perhaps even the situation that you're in. It is going to be a general one. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email will be listed below the video. With all of that being said, let's begin. So, what are your person's current thoughts of you and the connection? Okay, you've got the full card here. Um, this is someone who's feeling really good about you. Okay, this is someone who feels on top of the world. Um, this is someone who really likes being around you. They like the way you make them feel. They like the way that they feel about themselves when they're with you. Um, I'm also seeing that this is someone who, like they feel on cloud nine, okay? They see you as someone who's very fun. They see you as someone who's very adventurous, very spontaneous, and they definitely like your vibe. They like your energy. They're very drawn to you. Um, they're in a happy place from what I'm seeing. They're in perhaps they're in the happiest place that they've been in a long time so someone who's feeling very good about you they feel very good about themselves when they're with you they also feel very good about the situation that you're in and they feel like because the full card represents new beginnings they feel if you guys have just recently met or recently you know started things off they feel like this could be the beginning of something new something wonderful okay You've got the Page of Swords, but it's come up in reverse. Um, I feel like this person is a little, is a little nervous. They get shy, they get nervous around you, and I think it's a good thing because this person cares. They want to make a good impression. Um, they care about what you think. In fact, this person is coming across as someone who cares about, you know, what other people think and how people see them. Um, I'm also feel, I'm also seeing that this person is holding back though. Okay, so when it comes to expressing his or her emotions, when it comes to you know telling you how he or she feels, or even like um, what they feel and think of you, they hold back. Okay, but I think it stems from like a nervous energy. I just think this person is scared. They may be scared of rejection. They may be scared, you know, and afraid to um, potentially ruin what you might have going on right now. The chariot tells us that this is someone who wants to push forward, okay? They want to advance, advance things, they want to make, uh, move things forward. This is someone who could be holding back but has every intention of making a move on you. Um, they're just scared, they're just nervous, shy, just a little bit orkies. But I can see that there's, you know, this is someone, in, like intentionally they want to move forward, okay? Um, whether it means accelerating the relationship into the next stage, whether it means making a move on you, telling you his or her feelings. To me, I'm seeing that there is um, movement. It could be movement in the sense if you are doing long distance with this person that they potentially could be thinking. Okay, they may be thinking about, um, you know, um, traveling to see you, trying to get closer to you. Um, but the chariot is a good thing because this is someone who, and even if you feel like, if you're playing hard to get or if you're someone who, um, if they see this as a bit of a challenge, I think they like that. I think they like the thrill of the hunt, the thrill of the chase. Okay, the Ten of Cups. So they can definitely see themselves having this, you know, Ten of Cups situation with you. This is someone who feels like you're everything that they've wanted. You're everything that they've asked for. You have everything that they wanted. Um, this is someone who you know, potentially in the future, see themselves settling down with you. Um, and, you know, they see themselves settling down with you. They see themselves um, having something long-term with you. They see that this connection has long-term potential. Um, I see kids as well. This is someone who sees kids with you, This is having kids with you. This is someone who feels like they're going to marry you. And even if they just recently met, I guess when you know, you know. And this person certainly knows what they want and, you know, what they see in you. This is definitely someone who wants to... I can see that they want to play house. Okay, Knight of Cups. They are, you know, there's every intention of coming towards you, moving towards you romantically. They're not in a rush. I don't think this is someone... Don't get me wrong, that they wish they were further along with you, but they want to take it slow because 
I feel like this is someone who wants to be in it for the long term, for the long haul, okay? They don't want to rush through the process. They, they're feeling very good about the pacing of this connection. They're, very, they're feeling very good about how things are going. So, you know, why would they want to skip over this part? Why would they just want to rush this part? They don't. So, Knight of Cups, this is someone who is a bit of a romantic. I see that this person is very charismatic and I see that this person is about to turn up the heat for you. Um someone who loves to love love so do expect like handwritten love notes poetry um do expect you know um this individual to come in and sweep you off your feet they want to do all these you know grand romantic gestures for you picnic in the park um yeah someone who i feel like wants to romanticize you one and dine you definitely someone who i feel like this person will be saying they love you first or have said they love you first because i can see that in the energy so if you guys haven't said it yet i see this person coming out and saying it first okay with the five of pentacles energy um this is really interesting i don't know if this person feels like um there's not a lot of support in the energy but, uh, around them i don't know if this person feels a little bit alienated or isolated from their family Okay, there's something to do with their current situation and they may be leaning on you for support. They may have found in you a very strong emotional support system and they love that. But I see them for some reason feeling very... Um, there's a cold energy that's uh, being emitted right now. And I don't know if because this person feels like the world's turned against them or their family has turned against them. And they feel like, you know, in you they see a friend, so not just a romantic lover, but they feel like you're a shoulder to cry on, a, a listening ear. Okay, and look what we have. We've got the tower moment. Okay, so either this is a tower moment that is being predicted for this connection. Um, either you guys have been going through a tower moment, maybe right now you're in the midst of a tower moment. Um, if you're going through the tower moment... Um, I do see the dust settling on the, on this tower moment. If you're about to go in the tower moment, through this tower moment or situation or whatever this may be, like a separation or a disconnection or a bit of a hiccup or, you know, whatever this is, you will go through it, okay? You definitely will come out on the other end of it. And not only that, as a bonus, it will strengthen your connection, okay? Because, you know, you really get to find out who a person is when they're being put in a very trying situation because they will show you their true colors so this isn't going to damage your relationship this isn't going to ruin anything the two of you have because what the two of you have is strong enough to withstand this storm okay so if you are going through a tower moment or if there's a tower moment being predicted for you here then i see the both of you overcoming any obstacles i see the both of you conquering this you know whatever this tower moment may be no matter how big or small so don't worry, you will get through it. It will strengthen and tighten your connection as well. Okay, and speaking of strengthening, you've got the, you know, strength card right here. Just as we were talking about your connection being strengthened and tightened. So don't worry. I feel like this can only grow from strength to strength. What you have can only be built upon, okay? It cannot be tarnished. I don't see anyone coming in between the two of you. And even if you are going through a separation with this person, even if you're going through a disconnection or if you guys have separated, don't worry because that time apart, I feel like you're really working on yourselves. And, um, you know, sometimes people have to come apart to come back together again. Because what you have is strong, strong enough to withstand any stormy any stormy weather or any storms that come your way okay and notice the infinity loop that hovers around her head this is a um this is your forever person you've got your three of pentacles you will be building something with this person you'll be building a connection you'll be building a home with this person you'll be sharing something with them you might potentially also collaborate with some something with them so I don't know, it could be children, you could be, this is the person you could be having children with, this is the person you could be moving in with, you could be building a home with, or even like a business with, but it's a very collaborative energy. If this person is a builder, I feel like they may potentially end up building a home for the both of you in the future.
the Nine of Cups flipped out. Okay, this is the Law of Attraction um, tarot card out of the deck, as I always like to say. So, um, you know, especially for those of you that are going through, I mean, if you're going through a tower moment with this person, if you're going through a separation, um, at the end of the day, you've got the Nine of Cups, and this is the universe wanting to grant your wish. So, in order for the universe to do that, you need to set your intention out. Okay, now's a really good time to, you know, set your intention out into the universe. If you want a reconciliation, if you want to reunite, this is the things that you need your energy to focus on. Okay, um, otherwise, the you know, the Nine of Cups tells us that this person feels like you are a wish come true. Um, they feel as though you have everything that they've ever wanted. Um, they feel as though you're exactly what they want in a romantic partner. You're exact, you know, look-wise, personality, um, you know, the whole shebang. Um, you guys attracted one another and you feel the same, right? They tick a lot of your boxes. If not all of your boxes, they certainly tick a lot of your boxes. So you guys are feeling the same about each other. You guys are feeling really good about each other. And look, no relationship is immune from tower moments. None. Okay? Um... So the fact that you're going to have this tower moment and it's only going to strengthen your connection, I mean, that's saying a lot, right? We've got the six of wands. There you go. Things are moving forward in a positive direction. So um, this person feels really good. You know, we started off the reading saying they're, they're feeling great. They're in a happy place, perhaps the happiest of places they've been in a long time. Um, this is your, you know, your king or your queen. This is someone who... Um, they're feeling very confident about themselves and I see that this is someone who wants to push forward. This is someone who's bragging to his or her friends, their family. I mean, you know, they're talking about you. They're saying good things, all good things. Um, they feel they feel really good. Sometimes they pinch themselves. They feel like it's not real or how did they ever get so lucky? How did it happen to them? Um, but I can see that, you know, the future for you does look bright. You've got a lot of yellow. The color symbolism tells us that, you know, things are looking bright um, and you're heading towards your happy place with this person um, if you have been through a storm here guys if you've been through some sort of storm on your own personal or with this individual you will get your ten of cups situation you will get your rainbow at the end of the storm so you know I'm here to tell you keep going because what you're going through you're growing through at the same time okay there is light at the end of the tunnel and if you haven't seen it, you're almost there, okay? It's a beautiful message for you guys. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, or subscribing to the channel. Bye.